Well, all new at five, the Bluffton community is honoring a teenager who was shot and killed in what police believe was actually a case of mistaken identity. It happened back in 2021. DJ Fields, former high school, will be doing something special for him tomorrow. That's right. As our Brooke Butler reports, they're working to ensure his impact on the Bluffton community won't soon be forgotten. DJ Fields played football nearly all his life. When he was young, he actually chose the number 55 for his jersey in honor of his late grandmother who passed just before her 55th birthday. Well, Friday night on this field behind me, the Bluffton football team is actually going to retire that jersey number this time in honor of DJ. For, you know, administration and athletic department to put on something like this, it means a big deal. For as long as the Bluffton High School football team exists, no player will ever wear the number 55 again. Everyone in the community from now forever will remember the great things that DJ brought to this community. The retiring of DJ Fields football jersey will take place on the Bluffton High School's first football game of the season. We wanted to make sure that it would be a very, very special night for the whole town, the whole community, and our players. So um, we, I didn't want to wait to do that. DJ's dad, Dewan Fields Sr., says the location for this event is significant. This is actually where DJ played his first football game as a youth for Bluffton Bulldogs community football team. And while the grieving process hasn't gotten any easier, it hurts like hell. I wish this on nobody. Field says it's tributes like this that help. Makes me feel good um, being on a football field and knowing what's about to take place. And the efforts to remember and honor DJ Fields aren't going to end on this football field Friday night. They're going to continue in September with the Day of Giving in Fields' honor. Reporting in Bluffton, I'm Brooke Butler, WJCL 22 News. Brooke, thank you for that report. And we should note two of the people police believe were involved in Fields' murder were recently indicted on felony assault charges. Brooke is bringing us the very latest and even more details coming up tonight at 6 o'clock.